Now I'm going to play a set of pieces by the American composer Florence Price. Florence Price is such a treasure of American music, but she continues to be underappreciated, and it's because she was black and she was a woman. She was undervalued her entire life and continues to be to this day. But she's such an invaluable, I know I just said that, but she really is, like I cannot overstate her contribution to American music. She doesn't sound like anyone else. Like her, she used the vernacular folk songs and spirituals that she heard growing up and combined that sound with the classical European style that she was educated in. So her music is very unique. And it's, as you will see, it's incredibly beautiful. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of background on her. She was born in 1887 in Little Rock, Arkansas. So this was during Reconstruction. So Little Rock was integrated. There was a robust black business class. Um, black politicians, black artists were all thriving during this time in the South. And that's the environment that she grew up in. She was a piano prodigy. Her first teacher was her mother. She graduated valedictorian from her high school. And then she um, attended the New England Conservatory for college. So when it was time for her to go to college, her mother suggested to her to, that to identify herself as of Mexican descent. Because at the time, people of Latin American descent um, were favored over people of African descent in classical music. Classical music has always, and continues to this day, had a problem with racism. And that was the climate that she was going to go into at the New England Conservatory. And her mother said, You'll be it'll be easier for you, you'll be taken more seriously if you identify yourself as um, of Latin American heritage. So that's what she did. She went on to get two degrees at the same time, one in piano, one in organ from New England Conservatory. And then she returned to her home, Little Rock. And at the time, when she came back to Little Rock, it, um, Jim Crow had begun. And Little Rock, um, well, it became segregated during the time she was there after she had returned from college. And the terrorist group known as the KKK had formed, and they were committing the horrific terrorist acts known as lynching all over the South. And this was happening in Little Rock. Um, and by this time, Miss Price had fallen in love, gotten married, and had two children. And in 1927, the Price family decided to move to Chicago to escape the, the terror that was happening in her hometown. So she moved to Chicago in 1927. Chicago um, has a number of organizations designed to support African Americans in the arts. Um, Again, in the, in, the, in the arts, in classical music, in, well, everything. Um, um, no, black artists were not given the opportunities that non-black artists were. So these organizations have been around forever um, to, as a source of support for black artists. And there are several in Chicago. So Florence Price really thrived there and she started composing furiously. 
And in six years, her first symphony was premiered by the Chicago Symphony, her symphony number one in E minor, which is a beautiful piece. Um, she went on to write three more symphonies, which were not performed by the Chicago Symphony, although they should have been. And it is my hope that after, when we, after the pandemic, when this is all over, it's my hope that a major symphony orchestra will record all four Florence Price symphonies. There is currently a recording from the Fort Smith Symphony in Arkansas. Um, there is a lot of Florence Price activism nowadays in Arkansas, since that was her birthplace. So, um, so yeah, she her, her music is incredible, and I'm glad there is a growing interest in her music. The first piece by her that I'm going to play for you is called Barcarolle, which means boat song.
Barker Rule by Florence Price. Um, I'm going to get some water, but I'm going, I'm going to take you all with me. <clears throat> so I want to talk a little bit about the addition and the music that I'm playing from. Thank you, Michael. So Michael Cooper, who just commented, is partially responsible for that performance you just heard. Um, so the pianist, Laura Downs, who is a Florence Price um, advocate and phenomenal pianist, I highly recommend her performance. Um, she, there's a, the story goes that she had suggested to Michael to get this body of work of Florence Price published that had never been published. So I'll tell you a little bit about this body of work by Florence Price that I'm referring to. So in 2018, this is not the most flattering angle, but that's okay. In, in 2018, there was a large amount of Florence Price manuscripts found in a home in Illinois. The home had been vandalized but the manuscripts were intact and in good condition. This was uh, an incredible discovery. Like she was an incredibly prolific composer and we didn't really know like the extent of that until all these scores were discovered. They are housed in the University of Arkansas Fayetteville Library. So the story goes that Laura Downs um, mentioned to um, Michael Cooper, who was with us here tonight. I don't think Laura is here. I tried to invite her, but I guess we're not friends. <laughs> um, but Michael Cooper is here with us tonight. And she told him, wouldn't it be cool to see if there was any piano music in those scores that were found in the house? And um, he went ahead and went on and did it. He got those scores published. Um, they were published from G. Shermer, so you can buy them. Um, again, I've included the links to purchase all of the scores from all of the pieces I'm playing in the discussion section of the event page. Um, so these were literally just published this year. Like they, they were published in 2020. Oh, I can show y'all. Okay, I'm going to set this up and go sit back down again. I can show y'all what the scores look like. Yeah, so you can follow my um, link or just Google Florence Price Shermer Editions. Um, and I am just so grateful that we have these pieces available for purchase and now people like me can learn them and play them. So. Yeah, so these are two of them. trying to stay in the shot here. Um, so this is a score for the Bar Parole, published by Sherman. Uh, Sh Shermer. All pianists know Shermer. And this is not the first thing of Shermer to publish by her. They've been publishing her piano sonata for um, quite a long time. Future live stream, I'll play that. And um, let's see. Yes. Barcarolle, Florence B. Price, 1887 to 1953, edited by John Michael Cooper, and there's all this information. So I really love these editions, and I'm, I'm so excited that they're here, and um, this is very new. My YouTube videos are the only existing ones for two of these pieces, for the Barcarolle that you just heard, and the one that I'll play later entitled Until We Meet. Um, this is also new that a lot of these have never been recorded. Um, so if you want to hear it again, you have no option but to listen to me playing it. Um, the Bark Roll is on my YouTube channel. So everything that, I'm, 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 everything that I will be playing from now on, including the piece you just heard, is on my YouTube channel. Um, so of course the other purpose of this project, in addition to doing live streams, is I've been making videos of 
these underappreciated works and putting them on my YouTube channel. So I encourage you all to check that out. Please subscribe. You can just search for my name on YouTube. Um, and I, I have a website as well where I've written a blog post about, um, about a lot of things, about how I came up with the idea. Um, that, and that's just madebrophy.com. So I encourage you to check out those two things. Uh, and Instagram is Memphis Piano Woman. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. So now, so I just played this one. Now I'm going to play um, this one called Remembrance. Of course, I'm not playing off of these. I play off of an iPad. So what I did was I just took pictures of these and put them in my iPad. <clears throat>
was Remembrance by Florence Price. I'm going to do a quick comment check. Um, Michael, if you have anything you would like to add um, to my commentary, I would welcome that. Oh, thank you, Allie. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate y'all being here with me tonight. Special thanks to Scott Lane at Lane Music for providing me with this gorgeous piano. I'm really getting to show it off tonight. And thank you to Crosstown Arts for providing me with the space. It's really, um, everything just came together perfectly. Um, and I appreciate y'all joining me. Now I'm going to play another piano piece by Florence Price. And this is not from the collection that Michael edited. This is from this book. This is a book that was put out by a company called Classical, Classical Vocal Reprints. And they are based out of Fayetteville. Thank you, Fayetteville. Um, it says, Florence Beatrice Price, an album of piano pieces edited by Barbara Garvey Jackson. Clar Non Editions, a division of classical vocal reprints in Fayetteville, Arkansas. I don't actually know when this was published. There's no date in here, but this is another excellent collection. There's actually two volumes. I've got to have them both, so you can order this from um, classicalvocalreprints.com. Um, and, and as I said, I did put all the information and all the links to order these scores in the discussion um, section of the event page. So this piece is called Honeysuckle at Dusk.
was Honeysuckle at Dusk by Florence Price. The final Florence Price piece I'm going to play for you all is called Until We Meet. This one is another one from the collection that um, Michael Cooper edited, published by Shermer.
that was Until We Meet by Florence Price. I don't know if you all can hear, but there's a motorcycle outside. <laughs> we'll just let him pass. All right, I'm going to do a quick um, water break and comment check. <laughs> 